Hello friends, welcome to Code Semantic and welcome to the video tutorial of ASP.NET Web API. So, in this video, we are going to see how we can consume a GET request of Web API in MVC application. In last video, we already saw how to set up an MVC application to consume an Web API. So, if you are not aware of that part, I'll suggest you to watch that video first. And I'll attach the link of that video in the description below. So, our MVC final application output will look like this. So, whenever we consume our GET request, whatever data written by our GET request will be displayed in the tabular format in our page, in our MVC page. Okay. So, let us implement this practically. I am switching to Visual Studio. So, here we are using our same MVC application that we have set up in the last video, which is Consume Web API in MVC. So, as you can see here, a view model is added, controller is added, even the respective view folder for the product controller is created, required packages are also installed. So, here we are going to implement the code for consuming the GET request. Okay. And I already told you the details of consuming the GET request. Here also we are going to use the HTTP client class. So for that we need system.net.http system namespace which is added here. We need a reference of product view model. So for that also we added this namespace because our product view model is listed under this namespace. This is our project name and this is our folder name of models so that's why both the namespaces are added and as i told you i already told how to consume a get request in dotnet application using http client class but at that time we used console application so if you are aware of that part definitely it will be very easy for you to understand each and everything in detail again if you are not aware of that part i'll attach a link of that video in the description below So here we have an index method and on our index view we are going to list all the products. So here what will I do? I will just paste that code that we have already studied. Okay, I will just explain you quickly. So first of all a object of HTTP client class is created. Then base address of our web API is mentioned using URI constructor. And then after a call is given to our get async method. By calling that get async method, we specify the name of our controller in our web API. So don't get confused. In our MVC application also, we kept the name of our controller as product, whereas in web API also it is product. So this is the name of controller in our web API. Since we are using a get async method, which is asynchronous in nature we are allowing it to complete and then after we want to process further so that's why a wait method is called then after the result of our response task is collected and the status of our result is checked whether it is successfully executed or not so if our request get executed successfully we are giving call to read as async method which is written a list of product view model and we are collecting that result in our read task again since it is an async method we are allowing it to complete and then after we were we want to process so that's why wait method is called and whatever is the result of our read task is collected in our product collection so product is a list of product view model so i hope all of you remember a get request or implementation of get request in our web api let me quickly show it to you so i am switching to our web api application see this is our product controller in web api and we implemented gate this is create is nothing but the post method update is put method and this is our delete request so all these methods are implemented and you can see there are two versions of get one is having parameter and one is without parameter so the first get request is returning the list of all the products as you can see here 
we are returning list of product view model right and the second version of get is giving the specific product by that id so only single product will be written okay so we are implementing or we are writing a logic to consuming this first request which is returning list of all the product so my web api is in the running state so again i switch to our mvc application see this is the base address of our web api api is the word or you can say a constant word which is specified while defining the roots of a web api so if you are using any different word please use that word instead of api okay let me show it quickly see this is our web api.config file where we mention the roots and as you can see here in root template we specify this api word or you can say it is default implementation you can write your root without that also but you have to make change in this web api config file so just make sure whatever the specific word or whatever the root template you have specified here you have to mention the same in your consuming application okay so again i am switching to our mvc application so we are done with the code of our index method now we are going to show all these records of products in the tabular format so for that what we have to do we have to create a view okay so let me create a view just right click over here on your action method and say add view so view name will be index uh, i am going to take a help of template because i do not have any custom design if you are using any custom design i will prefer to use a empty template okay so here i am going to use the list template and i am going to specify the model class also so in this case it is product view model okay again i want to have a layout page also so i am keeping this box as mark say add so using scaffolding technique the view will be created yes so the view is also created again i'll repeat if you have a custom design you can write your html tags with yourself and you can apply all the necessary styling to it so here our more focus is to know how to consume web api in mvc application okay so you can see here table tag right so this is the table heading so first row is for table heading and then for each loop is used and our row of list or all the records of list will be iterated through this for each loop again in my mvc series i explained all this thing in detail if you are not aware of this part i'll suggest you to watch that video again i'll attach the link of that video in the description below so here each and every row of our list get displayed through this now here we are showing few links also like edit and delete but that link will do not have any value so that's why this part is commented but yeah we can mention this so for that what we have to do just uncomment this part and here instead of primary key you have to specify the primary key field of your model right so our model is product model right so definitely what will be the pro primary key primary key will be a product id so just replace it with that i am copying it okay so we are done with this part and let me switch to controller again so to our view we are passing this product list so observe this part carefully unless and until we do not pass it it do not get displayed or rendered on your view so whatever results we get from the web api we are collecting it in the products which is list of product view model and this product view model or list of product view model is passed to the view and in view we are 
displaying it through the model binding and using for each loop our data in the model is iterated and rendered so let us run this application and let us check the output but before that just to make sure your web api is in a running state so let me quickly check it yeah as you can see here our web api is in running state so we can run our mvc application also yes you can see the output now right so here the product id is get displayed then product name price stock category id and the category name also get displayed and here you can see the header row of your table here the name of headers appears as the name of your product view model properties so suppose you want to make a change here what you can do a simple way is to just specify the hard coded values for your heading means instead of this uh, html helper display name for what you can do you can just simply say fix text say id okay let us try this whether it is working or not so i'm refreshing it yeah so the id get displayed right and the another way is you can apply a data annotation on your product view model so advantage of data annotation is that once you applied it on the model wherever you use that model it get applicable in all the places so let me show you quickly so i'm switching to our mvc application let me stop it in product view model i can specify that data annotation and for that you need this namespace system dot component model dot data annotation so here what i have to do for product id we already mentioned the fixed uh, heading in our table heading tag so for product name i just want to show a name instead of product name just name i want to show so the data annotation is display then you have to use the name property so name is equal to you have to specify the caption that you, that you want to show the my caption is name itself then for category name i just want to show a category so here i'll say display name is equal to category so you have to enclose that caption in the double quotes now i do not want to show the category id in my list so i can remove this heading so similarly in the detail section also means from the table row also we have to delete it okay so we are done with these changes again let us verify it and well, let me tell you one more thing we are not going to use this details link okay so i am going to remove this link as well so there will be only two links edit and delete okay so again save it and let us run it yes now you can see the output so we got this heading this is the fixed one this is given using data annotation name and category it is given using data annotation okay these are the links edit and delete and this is the create new link so we didn't write any code on it but in the subsequent videos we are going to implement this for consuming the different different methods or request of web api so in case of edit and delete you can see in the left bottom corner that our links are appearing along with the id means in case of uh, first link it is showing edit slash one then it is showing edit slash two edit slash three right the same is applicable for the delete also okay so with the help of this root parameter we are going to collect those detail and then after we are 
going to process it further okay so i hope you enjoy this video if you have any doubts or any concern you can definitely write it to the comment section thank you for watching